<laughs> yeah. Here's a quick video on how to crop and resize a photo using GIMP. So a fairly basic requirement that everyone needs to know. There's a couple of different ways that you can do it. Uh, the first one is using the crop tool and that's nice and simple. You just, let's say I just want a couple of these clouds and a bit of this hill. I just drag out an area and just once I take my finger off the button, I can still decide to make it either bigger that way or I can, uh, there's the kind of expansion bars on the sides where I can go left and right, up and down, and I can decide on that. And if I, if I like that, the area in the center, which is bright, that stays in the image. The area which is dark is all deleted. So if I just press return, there, that's, that's us got our image nice and cropped. The other way to do this is also using the rectangle tool. You can also use the circle tool or the lasso tool. And again, just selecting the area that you want to have. Let's say you want this area here. And then going up to image, fit canvas to selection. And bingo, you've done it there. So your canvas is now just down here. The fun thing about this one is if you then click on the move tool, you still have the image in the background. So you can just move it around until it's in a position which you actually want to be using it there. So that's just another way of doing that. So I'm just gonna go for a selection here. Let's say I want a nice panoramic that's including most of the hill at the bottom, but I don't want too much of the sky there. Just want it shot like that. Go from there, click enter, I'm happy with that. However, what we'll notice is down here, we're only at 33%. This is still a heck of a big image. If I'm just wanting to stick this on Facebook or if I'm just wanting to put it on my website and need it to be a certain size, this is still far too big for me to do this. So if I just bring it back down to where it was, let's see, that's the size I want. I want it to be that size whenever I put it onto a website. Then what I do is I go up to image, scale image, click on that. And the important bit here is instead of saying pixels, go down to percent. And as you can see, this is already telling me it's at 33.33%. So I'll just put in 33. Make sure it's just 33, not anything else. And that's it all linked. And if I click scale, you'll notice down here, if I go to 100%, it's now the exact size that I want it to be. If you, for some reason, I'll just undo that which is why you're pressing Command Z. If for some reason you've got a certain resolution which you need to have it at, go to Image, Scale Image, and then instead of Percentage, and Pixels is just a PX. If you have this button linked here, or unlinked, this is where you can get it all screwed up. So if you have it linked, it will stay in the same format that you've got it there. So you can just change it. Let's say I only need it to be about, uh, with only about 600 pixels in length, just press anywhere else, and it will automatically decide that the height is 165 pixels, which is pretty small. If, on the other hand, I want to make it bigger, we can also do that as well. Let's make it huge. That that's, that's a pretty big pixel going on there, and it gives you options of how you interpolate the size of the image. However, I have no idea what they mean, so it doesn't really matter. Just keep it as cubic, that sounds right. If, however, you change the, or you unlock it, and you take it down to maybe 700, but its height is still, let's say, 8,000, let's see what happens when we do that. As you can see, it goes very, very wrong. So always be careful about making sure that the icons in the image, scale image, are linked before you change or make any adjustments there. The final option I'm going to give you here is, let's say you need to get a certain crop size from this image um, to fit a certain resolution, and it's just of this property. So, for example, if I want to go, what is a 1080p crop uh, within this shot? What I can do is I can get the rectangle tool, and let's say I just draw that somewhere here. Um, I can then change the size. Uh, of the number of pixels. So 1080 would be would be 1920 in that one by 1080 in that. So there, that's giving me, and then I can actually just move that around. That's giving me what like a full, uh, full HD 1080p video resolution would be. And then from there, I can move that around, say, hey, that's what it's of the cloud, that's what it's of 
this area and then from there just go to image and go to fit canvas to selection that's what you could do so you just have it all the way down there and then again you've still got the option to move everything around afterwards if you have to there is one other option which i would uh, recommend trying if we get the 1080 crop going on here got the ability to move that what i would recommend doing here actually is doing something where you go select float and on this floating selection we click to new layer so now we've now made it into a whole new layer a separate layer and you have the ability to move that layer in the kind of canvas area that you had of the full image so if you want to show here's what it's like in a 1080p a video screen compared to that the size of that actual image that I was using there and you can put another image in the background if you wanted and the very very final one that we could do here which uh, I don't quite know why you'd ever use this but let's say we wanted that area select that area and go to select go to invert so what's happening is now you're selecting everything other than that area and we can now just press command X or you can go up to here go up to edit and go cut what you'll see is slowly the background image is now going to disappear apart from bingo the bit that we're looking for so there you go there's four different ways of how to crop cut and resize the image in gimp yeah One last thing is that if you are on my photography channel, you may not know that I've got two other channels. One is my exercise channel, which you can check out, which is Don Bauer Exercise. Uh, I think the actual name is just youtube.com forward slash Don Bauer. And I've also got another one on this channel. Uh, so this is, I've got Dom's Talks. And a lot of that is going to be about well, me dealing with my first ever newborn baby, uh, little Logan Bauer. Uh, born on the 4th of September uh, and so I'm, I'm learning to be a dad so it's all my mistakes and all the things which I'm learning which are quite useful so if you want to see more about little Logan and how he's getting on check out Dom's talks and if you want to see oh I've also got Dom's flights as well so uh, again I'm doing a lot of stuff flying my DJI Phantom uh, around the places uh, and also going through the, the process of getting the, li the license to do it commercially so if you want to see how I'm doing that, check out the Dom's Flights channel as well. I should put all the links to down below. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.